fundamental move, number seven, pelvic curl. So you can keep your hands by your side. Genevieve, I'm gonna have you bring your hands up here like this just so they can see the lower back and the hips right there. So now we're gonna move the lower back from sinking the belly button in. So a few moments ago in an earlier fundamental move, we were holding the lower back steady from the tummy. Now we're gonna use the abdominals to move the lower back a little. So let's take an inhale to prepare. And as you exhale, you're gonna pull the belly button in so much that the tailbone cur curls up and your lower back touches down a little more deeply into the table. And then as you inhale, go into a little bit of a back arch. Let the lower back lift up and it's like the pubic bone is now pointing down. And then as you exhale, the belly button pulls in, the pubic bone tilts up and the lower back touches down even deeper. And then inhale, you rock the pelvis the other way. Let the lower back arch up a teeny bit. One more time, exhale, pull the belly button in, curl the tailbone up, nice small move, right? And slowly down. And we're just gonna show you one thing that I want you to watch out for. Try not to push into your feet to make it bigger. So do that one time. She's gonna push into her feet. Yeah, see how our hips are almost lifting. We're not lifting up. We're just doing a little curl and then down. And some teachers will call that a tuck. That works too. Um, but that's it, a pelvic curl.